Hey everyone, welcome to Pack Wars Tournament number 40. I am Tyler. I am Phil. And we are bringing you a Pack Wars Tournament. I'm very excited for the first time to be opening 1819 Series 2. Before we start, we're going to do the wild card bracket right here. So we're going to randomize the names three times. Samuya! Oh, hold on. Randomize the names three times, and the top four after the third randomization are going to earn their way into the Pack Wars Tournament for free. So here's random number one with Sean on top, Cezeo on the bottom. Here's number two with Cezeo on top and Cezeo on the bottom. And the top four are... Four Jensen, Cezeo, Johnny Canuck, and Bummer Boy. Congratulations, guys. So, Four Jensen... Johnny Canuck. Oh, sorry. Cezeo was next. Then Johnny Canuck. Then Bummer Boy. Congratulations, you guys. Alright, so we're going to open up these packs and spread them out. Oops. And then we're going to get going. Oops. Alright. <clears throat> so we're going to start out on the east side, move over to the west side. Felix is going to take care of the garbage for us. Here you go, big guy. Oops. <laughs> garbage. Spread all these out. Scoot your butt. Alright, then we're going to do the west side as well. Here's the garbage Felix. Sure. Make sure it doesn't spill. Sure. All right, and the last four are for the wild card bracket. So, putting down the names now. Let me get the chat back up here so I can see you guys. <laughs> the Shibuya stuff is uh, from, we've been watching a show on Netflix called Bella and the Bulldogs. So that is what that is from. Alright, here we go. Here are all the names. We're going to shuffle them all up and put them into the bracket. One more shuffle, starting with four Jensen on top against Bummer Boy. Soccer Taz against Leafs for Life. Oops. Then Justin against DJ Bass. Then Bummer Boy against B Martin. Ed Vet against Bummer Boy. All four kinds against Sean. Over to the west side. We've got Ed Vet against Bummer Boy. All four kinds against four Jensen. Sean, 1989. Against Cezeo. Leafs for Life against Johnny Canuck. Bummer Boy against Sean. And then all four kinds will face the winner of the wild card bracket. Got a couple bounty bonuses in this Pack Wars tournament. First person to get a Winnipeg Jets hit will light the lamp and earn their way into a free box of black. First person to get a jersey card is going to get two satellite bonuses into the next Pack Wars and the next Pack Wars Tournament of Champions. The winner of this tournament is going to get their free personal hobby box. They get to choose between Black and Ultimate. Let's get started, you guys. Good luck. There is just one clarification in this Pack Wars Tournament. Carter Hart automatically 
with his Young Guns cards wins rounds. So we're starting off with a Sheldon Rempel. Young Guns for four Jensen. Congratulations. It's a nice start for Michael. Sazeo needs a Young Guns or better to beat it. And he's got a portrait of Anthony Sorelli. So four Jensen wins the first round. Next up, we've got Johnny Canuck against Bummer Boy in the wild card round. Johnny Canuck is first. And look at that. He's got our rookie materials of Travis Dermott. So that means Johnny Canuck has lit the lamp. <clears throat> He's got the first jersey card. So that's the Satellite Bounty. So let me add that to the names. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Rempel is not like that in the Mennonite circles. So for the bonus box, we've got Johnny. Oh, sorry, not bonus box. The Satellites. I'm getting my bonuses mixed up here. Johnny Canuck gets a satellite into next week's tournament, as well as the Tournament of Champions. So that's a nice little bonus there for Brian. All right, Bummer Boy's got his work cut out for him here, trying to beat a jersey card. So he's going to need a Young Guns canvas or better. He does have a canvas, but it's a regular Mike Smith, which means a Johnny Canuck. On to the next round to face four Jensen. We'll start with Johnny Canuck on the bottom. And he's got a John Tavares OPG update card for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Four Jensen. Looking to beat the OPG. And he's got an OPG of his own, Ryan O'Reilly. So we're gonna go to lowest numbered base. Four Jensen is first. He's got a 256 and it's a duck. Johnny Canuck needs to beat a 256. He's got a 288. 288 is as low as it gets for Brian. So for Jensen, on to the next round out of the wildcard bracket. Congrats. Moving up to the top. Let me get my chat window back here. Going on the top. Alright, starting with Ed Vett against Bummer Boy. Good luck, you guys. Ed Vett is first. Ed has got himself. A Young Guns of Matthew Highmore. Congratulations, Ed. Bummer Boy needs a Young Guns or better. Bummer Boy has a Samuel Montebo. It is a Portraits Rookie, which means that Ed Vett wins with the Young Guns. If you fail to make it past the first round, fear not. You are going to get a free satellite into next week's tournament. The chance to earn your way into the wild card bracket. Next up, we've got Four Jensen against Sean 1989. Four Jensen is first, and he's got a marquee rookie of Dominic Cahoon. Sean 1989 is next. John's got himself a Young Guns. Oh, and it's a nice one. Casey Middlestat for the Buffalo Sabres. Congratulations, Sean. Oh, <laughs> and I made a mistake. Sorry about that, guys. For the first time in Pack Wars history, I skipped over a pack. So that Middlestat card belongs to Sean. 
Uh, four Jensen did get the Chicago pack, but he is actually up against all four kinds. Sorry about that, guys. So all four kinds needs to beat the marquee rookie. And he has a Kiefer Sherwood marquee rookie for the Anaheim Ducks. So we're going to go to the lowest numbered base. All four kinds has a 268 and a 257. So for Jensen, got his base cards here. For Jensen, you've got a 352, a 292, and a 269. So 257 for all four kinds wins the round. Sorry about that, Michael. Okay, so now to the Sean bracket. We've got Middlestad already pulled for Sean and Cezeo 28. Needs to beat that. Well, in 40 tournaments, it's finally happened. I skipped over a pack. So, Cezeo. Oh, look at that. Uh, Nicholas Abkubel. Flyers young gun for Cezeo. So, he does pull a young gun. Let's see who's got the lower number. It's a 452 for Philly. And a 453. So, Philly beats it by just one card. Unbelievable. Cezeo, congratulations, you've won the round. And both young guns. Next up, we got Leafs for Life against Johnny Canuck. Leafs for Life is first. And you've got a rookie of Michael Rasmussen. Johnny Canuck is next. Johnny Canuck has got himself. A canvas of Keith Yandel. So we're going to go to lowest numbered base. Johnny Canuck is first. He's got a 303 and a 291. So 291 is the lowest card for Johnny Canuck. And a 279 for Leafs for Life for the Calgary Flames. So Leafs for Life on to the next round. Next up, we've got Bummer Boy against Sean. Sean and Bummer Boy both with a second chance. Sorry about that, Brian. I think that was Brian's only spot in this pack wars. Brett Howden from Manitoba for Bummer Boy. Sean's going to try and beat that. Sean has got himself a Young Guns of Zach Aston Reese. For the Pittsburgh Penguins. So Sean wins that round. Going to the wild card bracket winner for Jensen against all four kinds. <clears throat> so for Jensen is first. For Jensen. You've got yourself an OPG of Mike Hoffman. All four kinds. You've got a canvas of the pickle, Mark Edward Vlasic. So lowest numbered base, 294, 288 for Chuck. For Jensen needs to beat a 288. And his lowest is, believe it or not, 311. So Chuck wins the round. And let's go on over to the east side. Starting at the top, we've got Four Jensen against Bummer Boy. Four Jensen is first. He's got himself a canvas of Alex Ovechkin. Bummer Boy can win with a Young Guns. Bummer Boy's got a Young Guns. It is Jakob Zabroli. So congratulations, Jack. You win the round. Next up, we got Soccer Taz against Leafs for Life. Taz is first. And he's got a Victor Edsel for the Chicago Blackhawks. Leafs for Life is next. 
who already advanced in the other round. And he's got a marquee rookie of Philip Hornack. Which means we go to lowest numbered base. Leafs for Life is first. He's got a 291. 291 for Leafs for Life. Soccer Taz has a 272 for the Buffalo Sabres. So Jeremy, on to the next round. Moving right along to Justin against DJ Base. Justin is first. Justin has himself a Carolina Hurricanes retro. DJ Base is next. DJ Base has a Jacob McDonald Young Guns card, which means that he wins the round. Daniel off to the quarterfinals. Next up we got Bummer Boy once again, this time against B. Martin who's given me another chance. Looking for a little luck. Bummer Boy is first. He's got an upper deck canvas of Henrik Lundqvist. B. Martin is next. And he's got a... Oh, look at that! An acetate card, Michael Kepney, which qualifies for a um, second round trump card. So B. Martin wins the round. He also had a Buffalo Sabre 265, which would have beaten the Buffalo Sabre, or sorry, the Boston Bruins. So B. Martin, congratulations. You've got one round under your belt for the acetate parallel card. Next up, we have Ed Vett against Bummer Boy once again. Ed Vett is first, and he's got a portrait of Elias Pettersson. Very nice. Upper deck rookie. So Bummer Boy can steal that Pettersson if he's got a Young Guns card. And Bummer Boy does have a Young Guns. It is Joey Anderson for the New Jersey Devils. Congratulations, Jack. On to the next round. Ed Vett gets a Satellite. Then we've got all four kinds against Sean. Edvet does have that spot on the other side. All four kinds is first. He's got an Igor Ozhdeganov. <laughs> and look at those awesome Coyotes jerseys. I love those. They wore those against the Jets the other night. Next up is Sean, 1989. Sean's got himself a portrait of Maxime Lajoy. So we're going to go to lowest numbered base. There's a 254 for the Ducks for Sean. All four kinds has a 259, so close but no cigar. So congratulations to Sean. On to the next round. Well, we're over here. We're gonna do the triple threats right away. So starting at the top with Bummer Boy against Soccer Taz against DJ Base. Bummer Boy is first. Jack, you've got yourself the Upper Deck Portraits of Brady Kachuk. You've also got an Anaheim Duck, which is going to serve you well if we go to lowest numbered base cards. Soccer Chaz is next. Jeremy has got himself a Young Guns of Jeremy Loazon. So congratulations. A Young Guns for Soccer Taz. DJ Base needs a Young Guns or better. And he's got himself a marquee rookie of Jesperi Kotkanemi. That's going to be snapped up by Soccer Taz with his Young Guns card. Congratulations, Jeremy. On to the semifinals. Then over on the bottom bracket, we've got B. Martin against Bummer Boy against Sean. We're going to start all the way at the bottom with Sean. Sean's got himself a duck. He's also got himself a Young Guns, Drake Batherson. So a Young Guns right out of the gates for Sean. Bummer Boy needs a Young Guns or better to stay alive on the right side. And he's got a canvas of Captain Sirius, Jonathan Taves. 
So Sean still in the lead. B. Martin is next. He needs a Young Guns or better. B. Martin's got an OPG rookie of Pedersen. But that is going to be beaten by the Young Guns of Drake Batherson. So congratulations to Sean. On to the next round with the Upper Deck Young Guns, which beats the OPG. Now over to the other side. We've got Ed Vett against all four kinds against Cezeo. Starting off with Ed. Ed, you've got yourself upper deck canvas of Max Domi. All four kinds is next. And you've got yourself a Tyler Bozak, St. Louis Parallel, and an Anaheim Duck. So Cezeo needs a Young Guns here to beat the Duck. And Cezeo's got a portrait of Matthew Joseph, which means we have to go to lowest numbered base card. Starting off with Cezeo, he's got a 307. 307, 306 is the lowest one for Cezeo. All four guys had a 254, Josh Manson. So Ed Vett needs an Anaheim Duck. He's got a 251, look at that. Ed Vett with Corey Perry, 251, wins the round. Congratulations, Ed. Pulls out the Duck exactly when he needs it. Chuck has another chance on the bottom here. All four kinds against Sean, against Leafs for Life. All four kinds is first. Chuck has got himself a rookie of Jordan Cairo. Sean is next. Sean's got himself a Yuso Rukula rookie. So Leafs for Life has a great chance to advance to the semifinals here. If he can pull a Young Guns card. And he does have a Young Guns. It's a good one. Ethan Bear. So Leafs for Life on to the semifinals to face Ed Vett. Congratulations. Here we go, boys. Starting on the east side, Soccer Taz against Sean 1989. My garbage man has abandoned me. Starting with Sean. See who makes their way to the final. Sean's got himself a marquee rookie of Jarrett Anderson Dolan. So Soccer Taz could make it to the final with the Young Guns here. Soccer Taz has a marquee rookie of Dominic Cahoon, which means we have to go to lowest numbered base, starting with Jeremy. Jeremy's got a 292 and a 261 for Soccer Taz. Sean needs to beat a 261. He's got a 280. So Soccer Taz on to the final. Congratulations, Jeremy. Let's see who's going to be facing him. We've got Leafs for Life against Ed Vett. Starting with Michael. Leafs for Life. Let's see what he's got. He's got a Noah Hannafin Calgary Flames card. And a Buffalo Sabre. Ed Vett is next. Ed, you've got yourself a marquee rookie of Anti Somela, which means we need to go to lowest numbered base. For Ed Vett, we've got a 262 and a 267, so 262 needs to be beaten. Leafs for life, 262 or better. He's got a 270, and that's as low as it gets, which means that Ed Vett 
moves his way into the final to face Soccer Taz. Good luck, Ed. Good luck, Jeremy. Here we go. Starting with Ed Vett on the left side. Ed Vett has himself a Young Guns of Andreas Johnson for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Which is going to be tough to beat. But let's see if Soccer Taz can pull a memorabilia or a numbered card. Soccer Taz has a program of excellence. He comes from behind to win the tournament with a Jordan Cairo Upper Deck Program of Excellence rookie card. Congratulations to Jeremy. You are the champion. And you beat a Young Guns to do it in dramatic fashion. Jeremy, congrats. Ed Vett is going to get a satellite chance into the Pack Wars Tournament of Champions. But Jeremy, let me know which bonus box you would like, black or ultimate. I will open it for you. And we're also going to punch your ticket into the Pack Wars Tournament of Champions for free. Thank you for participating in the tournament, you guys. Check it out on Saturday as well. I think we're going to have Series 2 again against 15-16 Series 2. So back to the Connor McDavid sweepstakes. Thanks for participating, you guys. Have yourselves a great rest of your evening.